la 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 Day 63, 10.18 a.m. For this week's shopping task, housemates have entered the world of Alice in Wonderland. Charlie, Lisa, Rodrigo and David are in the living room. Earlier this week, Marcus and Sivash broke the rules regarding nominations and as a result, all housemates now face the public vote. They could, have a double, they could have a double eviction on Friday, bring two people in and have a double eviction on Friday. They could easily do that and that means that they'd be le level pegging for the end. We shouldn't even been up for eviction anyway, should we? No. Other people's fault wired up. Not ours. <laughs> we would have still been here, look. We would have still been here, yeah. But still, don't worry. But just think because, like... We done well, whatever. Uh -huh. Yeah. If I go, then it's not my fault, then I'll still go. You know what I mean? I'm not going to keep fussing about it. It's time for us to time for us to go. It's time for us to go, isn't it? Yep. Whether it's in our hands or not, we're up for eviction, and that's it. We can't change that. Siavash and B are in the garden. For his role in the task, Siavash has become the white rabbit. When instructed to do so by Big Brother, Siavash must attend appointments at the hutch, where each time he must eat ten carrots. Sea of Ash has been eating carrots for one hour and 12 minutes. Saying I love you is not the words I want to hear from you. I can't believe that you're not in love with me yet, Sea of Ash. Speaking of love. Working my way. Huh? Slowly, slowly. Catch your monkey. Yep. Before you know it. Boom. It's going to be fun today, isn't it? Yeah, tea party. <laughs> and you got a task with your best friends? <laughs> Yay. <laughs> no, I, well, I've, I've sort of cleared the air with David. I still find, find him annoying and boring. But, you know, you just feel an awkwardness in the air. Yeah. That's gone. So, you know, it'll be That's all right. Good. Saying I love you, not the word I... Ten thirty-five a.m. Some of the housemates are in the living room. <laughs> now he feels like the person with the crown. I'm complete. <laughs> I feel finished. Exactly. Rum pum 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 I'm gonna f***ing do all this smoking malarkey, you watch. I'm coming out of this house a non-smoker. And I'll be 20 quid a week better off. Just for the change? Just for the change. 20 quid a week? That's 80 pound a month. 80 pound? Yeah. Uh -huh. 80 pound? Some, sometimes I smoke more at weekends and all. You can't buy a nice shirt with that. Well, half. <laughs> <laughs> Dogface is in the kitchen. For her part, as the mad hatter in the task, she has to learn to identify 25 different teas before her challenge later today. Oh, grey, green. Ooh. Ugh. Try the chocolate spice. Chocolate chai. Charlie and Lisa are in the garden talking about Friday's eviction. You know what? I'm looking forward to it now. Do you know what I mean? Yesterday I was a bit, oh, you know, we've done so well. And, and now I'm just thinking, you know what? I don't care anymore. I know half wit wants me out the door big time. He's going to love it if my name comes up. Which is sad, because I wouldn't have never have even done that to him, just being spiteful. But, you know, I'm happy now about everything. Tobacco can bring you lower than what you are a bit, do you know? Yeah. Not low, I just said to Charlie, I'm quite like looking forward to Friday now. Yeah. Doing up and that. 
Do you know what I mean? But the only thing that saddens me about it all is half it really wants me out the door and wants me to go. So, you know, because he's so cocky and so cocksure that the crowd want me out for what he's heard. Do you know what I mean? If I don't go, I'll laugh in his face. Don't do that. Why are you laughing in my face? Never well, speaking to him again, Charlie. He, he really upset me. I'm not an odd person, and for somebody to talk about me saying that I turned everybody against him really hurt me. Did it? Yeah. I've already, I'm, I've a had this I'm a soft course. person, David. I would never hurt anybody, ever, really, even when I get angry. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm, a, I'm a soft person, and that hurt. So it, I just want. don't know yeah. how much I tried to defend myself in there without a cigarette, and he, he, what he was saying was. Oh, that one of the things, wasn't it? How could you do that? How spiteful could you be to say that? That I put every, put, turned everybody against him and I never, never said anything to any of my mates. So it really, really hurt me. I was so upset. Got bags so under upset. my eyes again. But you know what? Fuck it now. Eleven forty nine AM David and Halfwit are in the kitchen. Just after I finished school before I started university, yeah. I went on the dole <laughs> and I said I was unemployed and I was unemployed and I, so I was on the dole for a few weeks and got a bit of cash from that. Like so it was just pocket money basically. Not much, yeah. No, not much. Uh, right. Told me, oh, I was wash my hands with clicking guy. I was looking for a job to be fair. That's what it's there for though, isn't it? Were yeah. You Lisa and B are at the bus stop. Tea party tonight. Yeah, that'd be good. Nice. Dogface, the Mad Hatter, is in the diary room. Hello, Dogface. Hi, you're right. I'm fine, thank you. Dogface. Yeah. For your part of the task, you were required to identify the differences between 25 T's. Yeah. Mm -hmm. To pass your challenge, you must correctly identify two of the three T's in front of you. Oh, okay. Uh, oh, I hope they're easy ones because some of them are names I don't even know. Can't you like give me like? Three options which I could choose from when I taste it. No. Oh, that's so mean. Okay. Oh, shit. Please taste the tea. Yes. Oh, I know this one. This one's my favourite. Tastes mang mangoey. A bit of. A bit of chilli in it. Dogface, yeah. what tea do you believe is in teapot A? Is it a Mexican chill, chilli um, mango? Thank you. Dogface, please pour yourself a cup of the tea marked B. Please taste the tea. Oh! Oh, this is the most awfulest tea I have ever smelt in my life. Oh, it smells like fish, like fishy fannies. Oh, I know which one this is. Oh, very fishy. Dogface? Yeah. What tea do you believe is in teapot B? Is it the Pu'er? The Pu'er one. Thank you. Oh, that tastes like shit. Oh, it's like being a fish mongrel, whatever it's called. Oh, I might as well just licked a kipper. Is that bird? <whistles> you know when you hear pigeons going cuckoo, coo, coo, coo? Yeah. They actually only, only, it's two of them that make that noise. One of them goes cuckoo, coo, and then the other one goes cuckoo. 
This is a funny looking one. I think this one's strawberry. But it's got kind of bits in it. Let me have a little think. Oh, wait there. I think this, this one is a rhubarb and cream. This is rhubarb and cream. Thank you, dog face. How do you think you did? I think I got all three right. Uh, it, it, it doesn't matter if I've not pronounced them properly, like the puer, because I just pronounced it how, it's, how, I, how I read it. But you know which one I'm on about that puer, stinky one. That fishy one. Thank you, dog face. Big Brother will reveal the results of your challenge in due course. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Two or four p.m. Some of the housemates are in the living room. Whenever Rodrigo, the Cheshire cat, hears a song with the word smile in the title, he has 30 seconds to get to the tree trunk in the garden and must grin into the magnifying glass for the duration of the song. And then he said to me once, can I keep him? Can I have him? You can come around and see him. I was like, no, you're not having my dog. Get your... Wait, 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 no, it's not, is it? Yeah, no, 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 it's not, yeah, no, yes, 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 Sia Vash is in the diary room talking about the carrot eating part of his challenge. Seriously, guys, I honestly cannot do this. It's just, it, it cannot be done. Look at my stomach, and it's solid. It's not like soft. See this? I had a fucking sex pack till this morning. You have ruined my sex pack. Marcus and Charlie, the Nave and Queen of Hearts, are in the kitchen. For their challenge, they have two hours to prepare and cook 60 jam tarts and four empty pastry cases. They've been cooking for the past 37 minutes. A flour, a flour and stuff? Yeah. 200, is it? 400. How does it go off? Oh, you do it on this chow. <laughs> All oh, right, I was gonna, I was gonna say, I was thinking, there's no way. No, I said, I thought, I thought there's no way on earth. I was going, look how much I've put on. I was going, it hasn't even moved. You nutter. I was going, there's no way. It's going to put on 400. All right. Oh <laughs> yeah. That explains this. Huh? <laughs> Fuck. That is us. Awesome. It's a 400 now. Yeah. Oh, that's hilarious. Oh, hey. <laughs> Tony, I didn't tell you what you like. I'm not a natural cook. Three eighteen p.m. Sia Vash is in the bathroom. Lisa and David are by the pool, talking about his argument with Marcus last night. I'm not a fat I'm just 32 a waste. That's not a fat, is it? No. So I thought I'd get personal. Yeah, I will. Personal with me, I'll get personal with you, fella. That's why I've kept my distance now, because I'm keeping my mouth shut. Yeah. I don't want to get into another argument with anyone, but... You want everyone to argue? And Freddie will love in it. Oh, yeah. No. You don't have to get with anyone, do you? No. I've always said okay. You don't at all. Charlie and Marcus have been called to the diary room to deliver the 60 jam tarts and four empty pastry cases that they've made for their part of the task. Just put them on the floor, didn't drop them. E for fuck's E. 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 <laughs> Hello, Charlie. Hello, Marcus. Yeah, are you, Big Brother? What have you got for Big Brother? Um, 60 jam tarts. Four pastry casings. And, and some little gingerbread men, but not ginger. <laughs> some ginger. They're little men made out of the shortcakes. Just put them on the floor. Yeah, put them on the floor. Okay, then. Just for you. 
Look at them bar. I've worked hard, and I mean I've worked hard. My blood, sweat, and tears have gone into this lip. And we cleaned out all your junk as well. Cleaned out all the kitchen. Spotless. It's Everything. cleaner than before we went in, man. Honest to God. What do you think the four pastry cases might be for? Um, probably to put paste like the. Make a nice cream cake. Oh, that'd be nice, wouldn't it? Mm. And who are the men for? They're just for you lot. You can just for you. It's just to, to keep you happy. We'll do anything. I was born to make you happy. Halfwit and B are in the garden. Oh, there's, 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 there's no way you're going home on Friday, B. Like, I think even if it was you against Marcus, Marcus would have gone. Like, so, don't worry about it. I don't want to go. Hmm. I have a feeling about this, and I think Lisa's going to go. Oh, possibly Dave, but I'm pretty sure Lisa's going to go. Yeah, we'll see. Hmm. I haven't held back, in my opinion, from the dining room at all. OK. All right. <laughs> well, that's another extra piece of information that I don't have. So, as long as you haven't been really, 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 really two-faced, then... No, I haven't. No, I haven't at all. So... Four twenty-four p.m. Halfwit, Marcus, and B are in the garden. What the fuck's that? Is it an ant? No, it's a bit of plastic that I found on the floor. It's a plastic nodule. <laughs> it looks like your willy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm much bigger. <laughs> Come on, B. <laughs> oh, well, Sex on the Big Brother house. Mm. Don't be disgusting. What you like, Sex? Come Not on, with you. Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> the rest of the housemates are in the sitting room. B, Halfwit, Lisa and David are about to attempt their challenge in the living room. Them, they're going to make us something eat nasty out of that. I can just see it now. It's... Oh, God, I just can't believe it. <laughs> what if we have to eat something disgusting? Well, I'll we'll eat, it. I'll eat anything, me. We might have to eat Is 15 it cakes Alice plus... in Wonderland? No. Yeah. I thought it was called Alice in Wonderland, like her name was Alice Alison. in Wonderland, yeah. No, I thought her name was Alison. <laughs> like, Alice in Wonderland was a certain him. Like, ah! Alice in Wonderland. This is Big Brother. Would the playing cards take a seat at the dining table? All right. <laughs> Big Brother's filled Marcus and Charlie's empty pastry cases with different ingredients. Each tart has been placed under a cloche on the dining table. To pass their challenge, they must each eat an entire tart. Where are you going? Guys, oh. don't touch it, don't eat touch it. Don't touch everything. Oh, eat shit. it, eat it. I'm not doing it if it's oh, sick, I'm sorry. Shit. It's degrading. No, no, we'll do it. It's degrading if it's alive, I can't eat it. Well, we'll see, we'll if see. If it's alive, I can't eat it, I'm telling you now. Don't worry, we don't have to eat it. Oh, oh, well done. It's not that much, I would eat anything. Here we go. <laughs> I quite like shit food. I must be something proper skanky if they've got an hour to do it. Here's a tip. Hold your nose. You can't taste anything. Yeah. This is Big Brother. Would B please remove her cloche? Oh. Wasabi. <laughs> I love it. What's wasabi? It's like really spicy horseradish. Love it. Great. <laughs> no oh, oh excellent. great. No, it's really hot. Would Lisa please remove her cloche? <laughs> can you eat pig's eyeballs? <laughs> yeah, of course you can. Don't look at them, Lisa. Don't look directly at them. Just pop them in Pig's the eyeball! That's what? nice. I've had it before. It's really nice. Pig's what? eyeballs? Yeah, 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 it's really nice. A pig's eyeball soft or hard? Hard. Uh, You'll soon find out. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Rock and roll. Oh. I can see him looking at me. <laughs> Would Halfwit please remove his crotch? Head cheese. Head cheese is meat pieces from the head of a pig. All right, cool. Rock that looks roll. nice. Yeah, no that looks better than bloody pig's eyeballs. Yeah. Can't we swap? No. Yeah. Head cheese is fine. That sounds fucking delicious. It's easy. It'd just be like bloody bacon, wouldn't it? Would David it's just to make us remove his crotch? Ah, peacock! Yes. Pig, pig tails. tails. 
Please beware that the tails contain bones and cartilage. Mm-hmm. Pig tails, it's not cock. No. Yeah. Do people eat pig's tail? <laughs> This tail shouldn't be that bad. Lisa, Come on, David, that looks Lisa fucking definitely delicious. definitely got the short straw there. Don't eat the this bone and cartilage, just eat the brother. meat. The playing cards have one hour in which to consume the tart in front of them, starting now. All right. Do I have to eat the bone? Huh? No, you do not have to eat the bone. Oh. Close your eyes and close your nose. Oh. And just do it. Ah. Bastard. That's it, Dave. Get it down. Go on, Lisa. Lisa is a bad. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> oh my god, poor guy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude. <sighs> Whoa. <laughs> hey, what? It's pastry shit. I'll do it. Ooh. Tastes like shit. All right, here's a, here's a suggestion. Here's a suggestion. Dave, oh. make it into small pieces and then just swallow it down without chewing it. <laughs> that way it just goes straight down your throat. You don't get any of the taste or anything. <laughs> David, don't push it all in your mouth. It's half bit by bit. Oh. Yeah. We're doing good. We're doing good, guys. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Awful work. Mm. Awful. Mm. <laughs> mm. <coughs> I got a fat good. Well then, Dee. Really, really unpleasant feeling. That stinks at mm. all. What, what was the pastry like? It's disgusting. That's all right, man. You can do it. You're a soldier. Mm. <sighs> Dave, babe, really, just just swallow it. It tastes like death. <sighs> Have you done it, man? Oh, that is nasty. Not roll, mate. Can I have a wash? Six minutes later. <laughs> Head cheese, that sounds like something dirty, doesn't it? Yeah. I'm just not thinking about it at all. <laughs> it's like, oh. Good assholes. Why have they done this to us? Mm -hmm. That stink. Can you smell it? I don't want to. I'm holding my nose. Oh, I'm just thinking about other stuff. Oh, fuck. La 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 la. Oh! I'm in a bar. <laughs> We're in a bar on top of a cloud. Sipping champagne and listening to smooth jazz Where music. Where all the stuff coming out of it? Oh, <laughs> oh stinky. Like, look look with, stinky. Come on, Lise. I've never tasted don't like it in my life. Oh, that's what. Yeah. Oh. Woohoo, Lisa. Whoa. Whoa. Come on, yeah, Lisa. Yeah, you got it. Come on. Lisa, 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 Lisa. I think I might be sick. Mm -hmm. I beat mm. it already. It's a bit chilly. Well done. Ah, stinks. Mm. <laughs> Indeed. Better. Good cakes. <laughs> you feel like that, babe? No. What does mm. it taste like when it's going down? I just kind of switched my mind off. I can't even have like a tiny bit of I have a tiny bit of wasabi, my eyes start watering and like you start sweating and like it's intense like. But uh yeah, it's alright though. <laughs> You're good with the spicy food. Rock and roll. Woo! We done it! Woo! This is Rock on. the playing cards challenge is now over. Excellent! Do I get a chocolate bar for that big brother? Five thirteen PM. Lisa and David are in the bathroom. <laughs> How could they do that to us? <laughs> That's what they do. They've got the wrong show. Mm. 
Halfwit, B, and Marcus are in the bedroom. I'm, I, I'd say that I'm very aware of my internal state. That's probably why I moan. Right. <laughs> I need to disassociate myself. Marcus, do you think that I moan? Yep. <laughs> 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 yeah. Do I really? Yeah, tons. More than anyone else in the house put together. Really? Yeah. Really, really? Yeah, what's so bad about that? Well, that's probably why people want me to go home then. Stop moaning then. Oh. Do you really think that's it? What, why people want you to go home? Yeah. Probably not. People wouldn't want you to go home for that, but they I'm might probably just use by that you. as a reason for nominating you at the same time. Sivas, do I moan a lot? Spit it out, man. I do not know, do you? Bullshit up. <laughs> <laughs> I have not been in that position to see if you What a bullshit up. <laughs> <So. laughs> what kind of morning are we talking about? Like whinging. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were talking about a different kind of morning. Um, sometimes I can understand though, but you for like a little bit, not too much, not more than any of us, but you know. I said she minds more than everyone else in the house put together. <laughs> Just being honest. Dave? Yes? Do I moan? When you're asleep? No, do I moan? Are you a moaner? Yeah. Not really. <laughs> See, these, they're saying that I moan and whinge all the time. Come on, though, she does moan. About what? She just does generally, Come on. just anything. Um, I'm quite a moaner myself, so. But they're just, they're saying that I moan more than anyone else in the house. Dude, you're bringing the whole house down with your goddamn moaning. <laughs> like. Yeah. God. <laughs> I'm never going to have your baby now. <laughs> Denied. <laughs> baby. Dude, get in line. Six fifty four PM For the end of this week's Alice in Wonderland shopping task, Big Brother has provided the housemates with a Mad Hatter's tea party. Marcus and Halfwit are at the bus stop. Mm. I think it's about time we had a blinking tea party. I think so too. Hmm. The rest of the housemates are in the living room. Does the Birmingham accent sometimes sound a bit Australian to anyone else? I don't know. Australian? Australia? No. Birmingham? Birmingham. <laughs> Australian? <laughs> Birmingham? Yeah, it Birmingham. Does, does sound a bit similar. What, Australian? Oh, say all, ri all righty. Australian? Lisa, say all righty. All righty? All righty. All righty. Good day. <laughs> you flaming glass. This is Big Brother. The task room is now open for the man and the party. Get all the hands off you. Freddy yes. Yes. <laughs> oh my god, look at all the coffee. Oh, wow. It's so much. Oh, oh, it's so nice. Oh my god. Right. Get some cigarettes, Lisa. Bugs? Get some cigarettes. <laughs> Bugs. Lisa. Cigarettes. Bugs. Oh, no. oh, no. Why are we not starting? Yeah, I guess so. Great. Oh my god, this is brilliant. Mm. <laughs> Big brother, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm so excited. Mm. Oh my god. Cut that. Cake. That cake looks at oh that cake is beautiful. <laughs> this is better than pig's eyes. Good guys. Hopefully we pass the task. Cheers. 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 I think we passed. I think we Cheers. passed. Cheers. Uh -huh. Cheers, um, BB. Cheers. I think we passed. You know? Yeah. Mr. Broom. Sandwiches kick fucking ass. Oh, God.
I just don't understand how we can fail it. We've done it. We do. We've done it. Really really Let's not get to um. No, we no, no. have to be confident. No. We've got to be. I can't resist, dude. <laughs> don't know. When, don't know when we're gonna get it again. Yeah. <laughs> That's mm. What's that guy? Oh, I'm proceeding. Oh, the, this is just so cute. Beat Everything. That cake Yum, version. the chocolate cake is really good. Oh, oh this is room. so lovely. I think I'm going to eat all of these. Yes. Why do we have anything? Nailed it. Guys, I would like to take this opportunity to say that honestly, for me, for me, it has been a very, very emotional ride and I'm very, very glad to have met every single one of you. And if I was to leave on Friday, I do honestly want you guys to know that I would, I would not change this for the world and I would not do it with anyone else apart from you guys. And I love you all. And... Marcus, can you just walk out on, like, tomorrow night? And then the eviction will get cancelled. Are you going to shut up? Yes, sorry. <laughs> Team Marcus. Oh, God, what now? Shut up. Well, seeing as I'm the, I'm, I'm the Queen of the Night, I just want to say thank, thank you to you all. I really mean that. Like, I've had such a lovely, lovely time meeting you all. Even the new people that have came in, I feel like you have been here the whole time with, with oh, all. Yeah. We're all up together. Yeah. And someone's got to go and find out. I don't want anyone to go, but... I've had so much fun with you all. Thank you. Oh, oh sorry, man. since we're doing this... <laughs> since we're doing this speech, so sorry for putting everyone up, by oh, the way. Alice <laughs> speaking! Guys, thank you for giving me all the love and everything, and I have had a real good time here, and you know, I know that if I go, I will miss you all like mad, and I, I will definitely stay in touch with everybody, because I love all of you, genuinely. Mm -hmm. oh, oh, I do. Do. Aww. Aww. Mm. 18 minutes later. <laughs> My hand. This is Big Brother. For this week's shopping task, housemates took a trip down the rabbit hole as they entered the enchanting world of Alice in Wonderland. The task consisted of six challenges. <laughs> as housemates successfully passed all challenges, they have passed the overall task and will receive We have done this, people. We have done it. I can't believe we got scones with that. We took the five weeks. <laughs> Our one was fucking piss easy compared to everyone else's, though, wasn't it? Well done to Alice. I mean that. Well done, yes. everyone. Well done. Alice, well done. Well, you guys, the eating bit. Oh, seriously. Nine seventeen PM. Charlie has come to the divy room. Hello, Charlie. Yeah, hello. Yeah, I'm having so much fun in this place. Do you know what it is? I do not want to go on Fraser. I can't go. I'm having so much fun. Most of the housemates are in the garden. How many women have you sat with, Lisa? About fifty-five, sixty. Okay. Too many. Oh, Marcus, I saw that. Well, that I, beautiful. Because I think, yeah. I've been sleeping with girls since I've been 16, you. so I am 41, so... You know what I, mean? I had a lot of one-night stands and stuff, and... We both will be, I think. Why? How many men have you slept with? 
I'm not really sure, but I'd, I'd say under 50. Yeah. But I'm only 24, <laughs> and you're 41. Because <laughs> a lot of people go, it's terrible, together. isn't it? Here, are you, do you, are you unhappy sitting Mate, next to me? Mate, we're going to move to London. I mean, you and Steve, Ash, will share a flat together. Yeah. <laughs> Come on. Got some and you can bring your friends. That's bad, isn't it? What's bad? Like, somewhere under 50. <laughs> That's not bad. That's not bad at all. All in a very liber liberated way. Yeah, exactly. It's not like... It would be bad if it was, like, because you... you because you sort of... You know, you hated yourself and you were just going from one to the other because of recklessness and denial of your life and denial of your sexuality. But, but if you're doing it because you love it, then that's fucking more peace and love and power to you, mate. Like, do you know what I mean? Like, there's a big difference. Well, if you think about it, let's say you were like five or six a year. Yeah, the main reason why it's bad for people to be like promiscuous is because they're, they're kind of scared of affection, they're scared of closeness. So they have to keep it on, on that kind of level. Yeah, no, well, that's not the case. One. That's not then, the case. Then it's good. If it's all affection, it's all love, then the lovingness is great. That just means you're a very loving person. Oh, my sitting one. Numbers are not important. It's where you're coming from. Masses. Well, plus I've been in like long term relationships as well, so it's not like it's not like I'm incapable of having a relationship. Yeah. I'm just incapable of sticking to one. I think mean, that's great. <laughs> yeah. 9:34 p.m. Some of the housemates are in the bedroom. What's the matter? Talk to me. Buddy. Buddy. Yeah. I'm going to go and live in London. What? I'm going to live in London. What? I'm going to live in London. Why? Because I, that's where my work is. No. And, but, and see if I should offer me a job. No, come to live in Leeds. Come and live in London. No, 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 my Please. university. Please. No, I have my university. I Please. love Leeds, I love my university, that I love my life. <laughs> I love you and you can't leave me. I get, I miss you. Oh. Some of the housemates are in the garden. Is your rage building? I knew he was going to do that, I just knew it. <laughs> so predictable, you've got a transparent forehead. Go on, Biggie, if you're not bringing new people. <laughs> you take it. You take that. <laughs> If you want to progress further from that, then you go to bully jabber territory. <laughs> do you want the bully jabber? Go on, do it. Do you want the bully jabber? Dare you. All right, well, no, I, don't, I won't do it now. I'll do it when you least expect it. And then after I've done the bully jabber, I'm going to have a nice can of cider. And it's going to go down like <laughs> Where is gold. it, Marcus? Oh, you have cider? <laughs> yes, I do. Yeah, and he's, and he's got said bags, I could have and it got earlier. Tea and everything. Marcus, I supported you in front of the whole nation. What, by a crudely sewn M? Yes. Wow. Oh, Whoopty fucking ding dong. Stop being mean, you hag. <laughs> Ow. Ow, that hurt. That really did hurt. You only act like this for attention, so I'm giving it to you. You're attention seeking little fucking baby. David and Lisa have come to the diary room. Hello, David. Hello, Lisa. Hello. Hello. How are you both? All right, thank you. We're just a bit upset about Friday because we don't want to be split up. Obviously, I don't want Lisa to go because she's my rock in the house, you know, and I feel as if that were taken away Aww. from me. I just don't feel I'd enjoy the experience as you much for when she goes because she sits with me, she listens to me, you know, she knows how I'm feeling, in fact, when I look at her, I can tell the way she, she feels, but we shouldn't have really been up, really, but obviously we accept the Big Brother's decision, because obviously we can't go against it, and we know Big Brother's decision's final, but, you know, but it's still being interesting to see what happens on Friday. Every person in the house has been up, and then to be evicted, you're going to be the most disliked person out of everybody, so obviously to get picked out of the whole ten as the person, you're going to know that that 
person is going to be the most wanted out of the house as well, Lisa. So, that's a bit so that that'd be upsetting <laughs> as well. It would, Lisa. Yeah, it would. And it, would... it wouldn't be nice, but you you got to you know obviously you've got your time to shine on the outside and talk about it. Yeah. So I wouldn't really worry about that. Who would you like to see evicted? Oh, that's a good question. <laughs> that's a good question. That's... Marcus, me. Definitely, um, deserves to go. To find out that like, you've got everybody up for eviction and, and then to laugh in people's faces when, like, Rodrigo and Lisa's never even been up once, do you know what I mean? So, and then to laugh in the faces, that's just, like, rubbing shit in the wound and, to me, that's not a nice person, do you know? Do you think he does get evicted on Friday? You know, it's like saying, he wants to go. I mean, I don't really want anybody to go in a way now because I've been with these people for nine weeks and, you know, there's a way of getting to Marcus by being calm and by talking to him. He seems to be one for the girls, big brother, you know, he doesn't seem to talk to the guys in the house. He likes to get one woman and just, like, concentrate on that relationship rather than anybody else's. He, he, he's, he's doing that with me now, isn't he, you know, they're really close in the house now. So I, he's, I think he just, he's one for the women, definitely. You mentioned Marcus's relationship with B. Can you elaborate for big brother? Well, I just think it's a bit like, he wants it to be a bit like Noreen, he's a bit... I don't know. There's I not sexual in it, is there? I don't know, I just think they're just Bouncing messing about, other. yeah. B likes Marcus because obviously she supported him last week, but then there could be a method in a madness, couldn't there, Big Brother? Eleven thirteen pm. B and C of Ash are in the bathroom. Honestly, if anyone was going to have a romance in here, it would have been so much fun that you and I had one. I think what was it like? Been able to pull it off a lot better than you and Maureen. Yeah, well, I was just sitting around saying, "Ooh, let's have a romance." Just like a thing that happened. Yeah, but uh, in, in our peak, when it could have happened, we were busy with someone else. And we could have come out and had the clothes and it would have been cool and everyone would have bought it. And your friends probably know my friends. It would have been perfect. Yeah. Perfect. But instead you went for some Irish runner. Well, what can you do? Woulda, shoulda, coulda, woulda. Everyone makes mistakes. Yeah. Halfwit is in the kitchen. <clears throat> Some of the housemates are in the bedroom. <laughs> and a throw you in the pool. See <laughs> Avash and Marcus are in the garden. Oh, it's been good today. I swim a good day, yeah. This is a good week to go. Have you got anything going? I have no idea. If I do go this week. When she says my name, I will be shitting myself three way. <laughs> well, do you know what? I speak of it. <laughs> and I'm. Let me tell you. <laughs> I am. No, I'm telling you something. I'm coming back. Yes. I'm eating your carrot. And yes. I don't know what you're moaning about because they taste the fine. These are organic carrots, I reckon. They are, they are. <laughs> <laughs> they are organic carrots. Oh, look at that body. Oh, yeah. Oh, that. God. Sexy. It's not as Oh, I don't get on the floor. Well, <laughs> I'm just going to get my carrot. Don't eat the carrots. I'm going to do a bend I mean, a bend and snap. A leg up. A leg straight. Arms. Um, go down. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> oh! <laughs> I was a cat in a jail. Once the jail man. And then we do the same. Leg out, leg straight, and we bend. And we snap.
12.40 a.m. Most of the housemates are in the bedroom. Halfway has come to the diary room. Token for hot water, please, Governor. Marcus and B are in the garden. I really like swimming pools, B. <laughs> Do you want to see think I'm a whingy minge bag? He was the other day. You're not today. Yeah, no, I'm not. Was I really the other day, though? Yeah. Why didn't you say something to me? Because You're you... supposed to be my friend. Yeah, but because I'm your friend, I didn't mind, and I knew that you didn't mean it, and I knew that one day you'd wake up in the morning and you'd snap out of it, and you did, so I knew it, so why should I say anything? If I said anything before, you'd just worry about it and it'd make you even worse and give you more things to worry about. Yeah... I'm a very good friend to you, B. I know. Because I know so many things that other people don't. Like what? And I never ever exploit anything out of anyone. I could have this whole house jumping through hoops if I wanted to. I think you should. I think it'd look hilarious. I've no reason to do anything like that. I'd much rather be friends with the bee who just snapped out of it and is the person who she is now than the person who I'd have to tell something every five minutes every time something happens. Yeah. I'd much rather being this bee. Then we're all winners. Everyone's a winner. This week, all housemates face the public vote. Who stays, you decide. To save a housemate, call 09016 16 16. To save B, add 17. To save Charlie, add 04. To save David, add 18. To save Dogface, add 15. To save Halfwit, add 05. To save Hera, add 19. To save Lisa, add 08. To save Marcus, add 09. To save Rodrigo, add 11. To save Siavash, add 13. The housemates with the least votes will be evicted on Friday. Calls cost 35p from a BT landline. Calls from other networks may vary and from more buyers will cost considerably more. For details and terms, go to channel4.com slash bigbrother. Voting closes in Friday's eviction show.